Hi, this is Shane Balkich at Nostalgic Glass Wet Plate Studio here in Bismarck, North Dakota. Um, it's an honor to have uh, my wet plate work uh, standing for us all with Swedish environmentalist Greta Thunberg um, installed in the city of Fargo. Um, it's, it's an honor that uh, this is part of the Fargo uh, walking tours. Um, Mike Williams um, from Fargo uh, came to my aid um, after uh, there was some controversy surrounding this image. I, it was uh, originally intended to be installed in Bismarck and after some boycotts and some vandalism, um, the, the piece uh, went to Fargo and it's an honor that it's installed um, in your fine city. Um, back in October 2019, uh, I had heard that Greta Thunberg was coming uh, to North Dakota and people had reached out to me and said, well, you have to capture her wet plate, you have to capture her wet plate. And I wasn't quite sure how I was going to do that because I, I didn't know her or any people in her camp or anything like that. So, um, but then I had heard uh, that she was going to Standing Rock to spend the afternoon with the children of Standing Rock. Um, she had known about the Dakota Access Pipeline. She had uh, been um, aware of their, their fights against this uh, pipeline that they did not want on, on, on this particular land and crossing their body of water. So uh, Greta came here to show support uh, for those children. As soon as uh, it was apparent that she was coming to Standing Rock, I had thought to myself, well, I've been working on my Native American series, Northern Plains Native Americans, a modern wet plate perspective for nearly seven years now. And um, I made a simple call down to Jen Jewett down at Standing Rock, um, asking um, the silly request of just 15 minutes with Greta, uh, which seemed um, like a ridiculously low amount of time to have with her to capture a wet plate. But I, I thought, uh, well, let me just see what they say. And um, a couple hours later, I got the phone call back. And um, because of this friendship and these relationships and the trust that I have down at the, at the Standing Rock um, tribes, um, they said, sure, Shane, you can have 15 minutes of Greta's time, um, time taken away from, from them down there. So it was a huge honor. And um, uh, that next day I traveled down to Standing Rock and I had um, 15 minutes with Greta. I had captured two photographs of her, one a close-up of her that is uh, presently the original plate is at the Nordiska Musit in her home country, a promise that I had made to her father uh, before he had left. And then uh, this, this, uh, this plate, the original 8 by 10 inch plate, um, you're seeing a larger reproduction of the plate here on the wall. Um, uh, went to the uh, Library of Congress. Um, so both plates are no longer in my possession and it was a promise I had made to Greta and her father that I would find good homes for the original plates and that's where they're at as of this, uh, this talk. So um, it was a huge honor. Um, it was a huge honor that Fargo had come to my aid when um, my work was being attacked um, and uh, I'm, I'm forever grateful. Uh, a little bit about the composition of this piece. Um, I had known, I, I knew, I, they told me I only had one opportunity to take one plate of her, and I knew if I was going to take only one plate of her that I had to capture a documentary piece of close-up so that I, I couldn't get too far away from Greta if, if I did. Um, you know, you may not see that it's Greta. So um, I did the documentary piece, and as that plate was coming up to, uh, to view in the fixer, um, I looked up at her for Savante, her father, and asked, can I do another one? And he said, definitely. So that's when I got to make Standing For Us All, which is uh, by far probably the most popular uh, of the two plates um, on social media. Um, these, this image was uh, liked over two million times. So um, it's a huge honor to have been able to capture a little bit of history, history that occurred here um, in this state. Um, and uh, so for standing for us all, I wanted to show nature. I, I think that's an important aspect of uh, what she is all about, um, protecting nature and protecting our environment. Um, hence the name as well, standing for us all. Um, so I wanted to have her off to the side and I wanted to have this uh, negative space uh, essentially showing nature of, of Standing Rock. And it's, it's very important that, the, you, that you know that this photograph was actually uh, taken down on, on the reservation and, and uh, any time that I share this, uh, uh, the Standing Rock tribe, because of the trust that they gave me and the time that they gave me with Greta, because this image would not occur without them. Um, I always give them credit for that. So it, it's a huge honor. So the idea for this uh, portrait was to have her standing there in a field and um, 
having her look towards nature and that's what that negative space is um, on, on the plate and uh, uh, when the plate was chased out of Bismarck, uh, Mike Williams uh, came to my aid and uh, said that it will uh, it will be installed in Fargo. Um, the plate is also um, being installed in Maryland. Um, it was just yesterday uh, this this large installation um, was installed in New York City, and um, it will also be uh, installed this summer down in Standing Rock. So. Uh, there will be four of these installations around the country, which is a huge honor. So um, thanks for letting me tell you a little bit about my work. Uh, it, it was a huge honor um, to be able to do this for the, uh, the people of North Dakota. And um, I am very grateful that, uh, that um, the Fargo Walking Tours is allowing me to do this. Thank you.